Update on the situation where I am not allowed to drink water or go to the bathroom at work. Og post. Sorry about lack of paragraph formatting guys I'm on my phone and freaking out. My manager's solution to my issue where I need to drink water and pee during my shift as a front. Desk agent at my hotel. See my previous post. Was to revise the. Already previously made and posted. Next two weeks schedule and eliminate eight shifts of mine. I am scheduled 16 hours for the next 14 days. Both on holidays that I don't get holiday pay for because I'm within my 90 days. Mind you before I challenged this inhumane rule. I was working 40 hours a week consistently. I'm not sure if updates are allowed in this sub. But I am having an anxiety attack because I have no idea how I am going to even pay my utilities. And eat now. Single quote. File for unemployment based on your lowered hours. Talk to your state's Bureau of Labor and Industry that's what's often called, constructive. Dismissal, and you can probably now quit and still collect, be eligible for unemployment insurance. Give them a call and see what they can do for you. Get a new job. They're passive firing you. In regards to water, it's against OSHA regulations not to allow employees access to drinking water whenever they are thirsty. Pretty sure it's against regulation to deny toilet access as well. They're breaking many laws. I hope you do more than get another job. So once op leaves do we get to name, shame the hotel? In some places, denying someone access to water is a human rights violation. Punishable with jail time and heavy fines. Get a lawyer while nailing down a better job. This is called retaliation and it is illegal in the US. Contact your state doll. Talk to a lawyer. A good one should be able to get you paid for all the shifts you were cut from. File for unemployment for underemployment. Because you were getting 40 hours a week consistently. Now they gave you 16 because you wanted water and bathroom privileges. Let this get put on paper that they're denying water and bathroom to employees. Then cutting hours as punishment. I'd do everything I could to get them to acknowledge they did this in an email. Dot it's retaliatory. And if they were to fire you, even in the first 90 days, I'd take that email to an employment lawyer about hostile work environment and retaliatory management and denying employees basic necessities. Start saving up just in case and vamp up your resume. Maybe you can ask your co-workers if you can pick up their shifts they don't want? Glad bad reviews are coming in. Maybe they'll learn something. Mention to the guests, sorry they make us use a different bathroom and there was a line. Employment lawyer might be able to get you compensation for all missed breaks from the past. OSHA doll should receive reports for this. And if you're not going to be there long anyway. Name and shame them across socials. Only when companies are publicly called to carpet for clear violations like this will these practices end. Oh and don't sign any NDAs, exit paperwork that limits your rights. If they try to hold your check until you sign, you inform them that your lawyer will be in touch regarding this matter and walk. NC you are eligible for unemployment if you get less than 24 hours. They subtract dollar for dollar from your benefits any income you earn. You may be able to quit due to hostile work environment and get unemployment. Also call your state's labor board. Employers have to allow you to go to restroom. Apply for unemployment. You can still get it if they cut your hours to below the benefit. America I assume? How has it been allowed to get like this, where employees have no rights? Do you have any evidence? Texts, email, etc. of yourself confronting your employer about the bathroom, water situation?
If so you may have a slam dunk lawsuit on your hands. HTTPS www.findlaw.com slash legal blogs slash lawandlife slash can my employer limit my bathroom breaks slash if you don't have hard evidence of them telling you you can't take any bathroom breaks then get it depending on your state you may be allowed to record yourself confronting your employer without telling your employer you are recording if you aren't in a state that allows this called one party consent then try to get them to put it in writing. If it's already in writing but that is not in your possession, get it in your possession. Take pictures or forward work emails to your personal email. Once you have evidence in hand, you may be able go find a lawyer who will work on contingency. This means they don't get paid unless you win, and they simply take a cut, usually 33%, of the settlement as payment. In addition to the health and safety violation, you also may have a case faux constructive dismissal. This is retaliation, depending on where you live it is very illegal. I'd contact the Department of Labor and start there. I'm sorry this is happening to you. But my whole mindset is, if they're gone screw you over do everything you can to turn it back on them. What they are doing is wrong. Maybe write a review as an employee and respond to the complaints about wait times by explaining why they had to wait. Blast it out there as much as possible. That really seems like it might be both an OSHS and an ADA issue. Step 1. HTTPS colon slash slash www.osha.gov slash workers slash file complaint Step 2. Lawyer. If you documented, besides from here, about your complaint, this could be classed as retaliation which might just be illegal where you are. Look into your workplace laws more. Might learn some things you could use against them if anything. The ability to use THR bathroom when necessary in my country is actually a legal right and cannot be told, no. Talk to a lawyer and see if you could have some kind of letter written to your manager. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.